Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can easily toggle between standard notation and get pivot data when we're using formulas with pivot tables. And also a brief look at the advantages of using each method. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here in Excel, you can see we have a table of data with an item, a region, a month, and a value. And to select a cell inside that data, come to insert, and select pivot table. So my table is called data. I'm going to place this on an existing worksheet, cell F1, and then I'll click OK. From here, I want to add some fields. So I'm going to add value into the value section. For my region, I'm going to place that into the columns, and then item I will place into the rows. So we have now a nice summary of our data. Now, when we go to create a formula, that's based on that data. For example, in cell L7, I'm going to type equals and then click on cell I7. And you can see there that it says get pivot data value and it says $F$1. So that is a reference to the first cell of our pivot table. Let me press return on that and I'll call this pivot total. Now, what happens if we want to link to cell I7 rather than using get pivot data? In that scenario, with our pivot table selected, I'm going to come up to pivot table analyze and under the options tab, we have a tick next to generate get pivot data. If I click on that, it will then uncheck that item. So now if I want to use a standard cell reference, I can just type equals. And when I click on that cell, it just says equal I7. I press return. Now, both of those currently give me the same value. Where we get a significant difference is when we change the shape of our pivot table. So for example, let's say I no longer want to have region in my columns. So I'm going to drag that out. As you can see, our standard cell reference is still linking to cell I7, but using get pivot data, it's still referenced to that total from our pivot table. It doesn't matter what other fields we have inside this pivot table, get pivot data will always be referencing to that same total value. So whatever cell we reference to with get pivot data, it should always follow that reference. So let me just turn this back on. So get pivot data is now turned back on. If I change this to equal, cell G2, which is the total of alpha, and press return, it says 910. But if I now add in my region into the columns, you can see that it still equals 910, which was the grand total for alpha. So in this video, we've seen how we can easily toggle between get pivot data and standard notation, and also briefly seen the advantages of using get pivot data when we want to pull out data specifically from a pivot table and not from a specific cell location. That's all for this video. If you liked it, why not check out some of our other videos where we share even more Excel goodies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.